What's good everybody? I'm back again with another video and this time I'm bringing you some Madden 15 team ratings for the NFC North. Now the North was a division that was up and down. It seemed like everybody had a chance to win that division last year and the Packers ended up winning that division. Coming back with the hurt Aaron Rodgers to go in and beat the Bears to make the playoffs. Now we're going to start things off with the Chicago Bears here today. They finished the season 8-8. Eight and eight. You see they have Marshall, Forte, Gold, and Jeffrey, all offensive players. Now that's the problem. They didn't have anything working for them on the defensive side of the ball last year. As you see, Marshall is a 96 overall receiver. The team overall is 84. And the thing is about this team, Jeffrey may be their best receiver. And it's all about Jay Cutler now. He's coming back from an injury as well. McCown played great for those guys. So we'll see what happens with this team next year. Now the next team up is the Detroit Lions. At one point, it seemed like they had everything going for them in this division and they were going to make the playoffs and win the division. Now, some things changed. Calvin Johnson had a knee injury that he played through and it seemed like all of a sudden the penalties start coming back and the team could not find what they needed to do to win. Now the team's overall is 80. Sue, Johnson, Fairley, and Stafford are the best players. You got players like Reggie Bush out there that, that made some great plays for this team, being a receiving tailback, being, doing it all basically. Now the thing is, can they put it together and don't be knuckleheads? That's the reason they didn't make the playoffs last year. They started acting crazy and getting flags left and right and just couldn't finish ball games. So hopefully the Detroit Lions will turn it around and actually reach their full potential. And here is the worst team in the division, the Minnesota Vikings. They got Teddy Bridgewater coming in as a rookie quarterback. If he can win that starting job, I'm telling you guys, he may win rookie of the year. The team's a 76 overall. You see AP, AD is a 98 overall. Felton, his fullback, Lode Holt, and Sullivan. So basically it tells you, run to the right, you're, in, you're okay. So the thing is about these Vikings, they need some help on defense to create some turnovers. And i tell you a player that's probably going to be one of their best four players before the season's over with, and that's Patterson, the receiver. So you guys got to look out for this team. They have some weapons. It's just putting it all together. And with the new head coach, hopefully they can figure it out. Last but not least, the Green Bay Packers. They went 8-7-1 and one last year. They had an 88 overall team rating. They have Rodgers, Nelson, Matthews, and Lacey. Lacey was just outstanding for them in the absence of Aaron Rodgers when they decided let's switch it up and do a ground and pound and that gives them more flexibility in the future they are one of the top four teams in the NFC everyone always says the Seahawks 49ers and Saints and you have to put the Packers right there in that bunch the thing is can they stay healthy can they hold on to home field advantage in the playoffs because nobody wants to go up to Lambeau Field and guys let me know in the comment section down below which team has a rating that is too high, which teams have ratings that are too low, and who you'll be playing with in Madden 15. Y'all be good. I'll have another video out real soon.